Hello, my name is Heitem and this is going to be a channel for 2D animation enthusiasts and artists who want to learn how to animate but don't know where to start. Um, a disclaimer up front, I do not consider myself an expert at animating. Uh, most of what I teach or share are my personal uh, views on things. Um, others might disagree with me, uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, this is also the first time I'm doing such a thing, uh, so bear with me while I make more tutorials and get better at this. I haven't had any uh, formal education in art or animation. Um, I've mostly been influenced by Sakuga animation and anime type animation. And if you want to learn more about Sakuga animation, uh, I've put a link in the description to a talk that explains Sakuga animation pretty well. So I would recommend watching that after this video. Okay, uh, first of all, let me answer a question I frequently get. Uh, which program am I using? So I'm using uh, Adobe Flash CS5. And um, is this the best program for animating? Probably not. Is it the best program for me? Yes. And that's because I've had a lot of experience using it. Um, I know all the shortcuts uh, and I can easily get around with uh, Adobe Flash. Um, I've heard TV Paint and Tuboom, Toon Boom are um, better alternatives um, and you can check them out. But I'm gonna go ahead with Adobe Flash. Um, I might be giving you guys uh, some tips and tricks concerning Adobe Flash but I encourage you to use your own program to follow along. Uh, I mean, animation principles carry on uh, no matter which uh, program you use. Okay, so let's get started. To actually create an entire animation, you need to be able to draw well and understand animation concepts. So what I mean by that is you have to be able to understand movement. Um, I will mostly be focusing on uh, understanding how things move. and. Um, one way to disregard the drawing well aspect of animating is by drawing stick man. Now there's still a difference between drawing a well drawn stick man and a poorly drawn stick man. But the advantage of uh, animating stick man is that you produce uh, animation much more quickly. So by doing that you, you basically practice the animation uh, principles a lot faster. The downside to uh, animating stick man is that you will probably get uh, impatient when you draw full-bodied characters later on so it's up to you which you use to follow along with these tutorials I'm personally gonna go ahead with full-bodied characters because uh, I'm uh, used to that uh, okay so some practical things Set your frames per second to 24 frames per second. This is the industry standard. Um, there's also two primary ways to draw something in Flash. There's the brush tool and there's the pencil tool. Play around with both of them to see whichever you uh, like. But if you're gonna go with the brush tool, um, I recommend going to your properties and setting the smoothing to about 40 to get more accurate lines. Um, I myself prefer the pencil tool for sketching, so I'm gonna go ahead with that. So as a quick example, I have animated a rotating head. When I animate something, I start off by figuring out what the most important poses are in a movement. Um, when you draw these poses, they are called keyframes. In this case, I chose the right side, the front side, and the left side of her face. But when you play the animation, you will notice it's going way too fast. So, uh, what do we do? There are two things we can do. We can increase the duration of the keyframes, or we can add more keyframes. Um, I'm gonna go ahead with uh, increasing the duration of the keyframes. Um, so, this seems about right. Uh, but if I play the animation right now, you'll see it's very rigid. So, how do we smooth it out? We add more frames. We add more frames in between the keyframes. 
and these are called in-betweens. Um, they help to smooth out the keyframe movement. So when you're drawing in-betweens, you'll be deciding for yourself how many frames are in between the keyframes. More frames generally mean slower movement, but it's not entirely dependent on that. It's actually more dependent on spacing. So spacing is quite frankly the space between the previous frame and the next frame. In this case, I'm choosing a consistent spacing between frames. This means the head is turning at a consistent speed. Um, so more frames will mean more uh, so slower movement. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and draw all the in-betweens and talk about it later. So I've copied a lot of frames and flipped them to save time, but this is usually bad practice because usually movements and faces aren't perfectly symmetrical. Um, I'm not completely satisfied with movement, but this is a matter of refinement. Uh, this is still a rough sketch of a rotating head and going back and forth between the frames and looking at the differences uh, is good practice to see what is wrong with your animation. Um, I hope this introduction has been somewhat useful. If you have any questions or suggestions to improve these tutorials, let me know. Um, I'll be going over more advanced stuff in uh, later tutorials, so if you want to be notified about that, consider subscribing or following me on the social media stuff. Alright, take care.